There is so much uncertainty in the times we're living in right now. I mean, people are worried about so many things, but the gospel is clear and it still that message survives today, doesn't it? Be not afraid. It certainly does. Fear is definitely not something that is instilled by God. Mm -hmm. Fear is something that comes from the darkness. And it's indicative of, at least in my own spiritual life, my lack of trust. And so whenever I experience fear, it usually is a little jump start in my heart to ask the Lord for the grace to be more trusting. St. Faustina was very clear about that, that we have to always trust in the divine mercy of our Lord and not be apprehensive about his justice. Do we have any idea when this change will take place? Um, again, it depends on how you read the Church Fathers, what your understanding of the scriptures is, but many believe that it will be within our generation that we'll see these changes. Um, changes, uh, as, as Pope John Paul described as a, a time of a rebirth or the springtime of the church. We've heard that Pope John Paul has said that, but would you explain what does that actually mean, a rebirth of the church? I think just as, as we look forward to after a, a long, cold, hard winter that's wet and dreary, for the first indications of life coming from the ground and from the trees, um, we can have that same expectation uh, not only happen within the church, but also within the culture. That our Lord is, by his permissive will, allowing um, the, the, the changes and the coming uh, chastisements that are, are going to be beneficial uh, as a reminder that he's going to bring forth new life from that. So just as we look forward to spring, we need to look forward to this, this beautiful time in the church that the Lord is about to give to us.